over the um, over the nine seasons that we've owned Polly Agatha, um, we've charted her and cruised her, raced her uh, against other gaffers, and indeed round the island race uh, this year, uh, winning our class. Um, Last season we went up to Scotland with guests and spent nine weeks cruising the Western Isles. And throughout it all, I mean, Polly Agatha gains admiration all the time from everyone who uh, sails past us. Um, and um, she performs impeccably. She's been, um, she's been good shorthanded and she's great fun with a large crew. So uh, really has been the, uh, the ideal cruising boat for me. She is based on Peggy, the uh, Bristol Channel pilot cutter, and so the English Channel is predominantly our stomping ground. So down to Douarnenez and um, Brest, Scilly Isles, uh, up to Amsterdam, up to Scotland, um, Ireland, and uh, around the Western Isles, which was tremendous fun. Um, she uh, really enjoys the conditions up there. I had a classic boat and read about this being built by Dave Cockwell. Uh, and phoned him up, uh, went to see it. He was actually building it for himself and decided that he could no longer carry on with it. So he put all the love and attention into the building of the hull. We then took it over and designed Polly Agatha very much along the lines of the original boat, Peggy. But we added modern luxury, so a very large aft cabin um, and as well as um, bunks for crew. Um, so that the boat could be used by a large crew of ten um, or just a husband and wife. Polly Agatha is a, a boat that a family could um, venture off around the world quite frankly or just potter locally. Uh, the stories of, of pilot cutter uh, achievements um, either along the channel or right around, across the Atlantic or around the world are, are well known and so from Tillman right the way through to uh, Tom Cunliffe uh, I think you can see that these boats are very very capable. Um, the panels in the, um, uh, in the saloon are all pippy oak, uh, cat's paw oak, uh, and make the detail of that oak really quite exquisite. And, and really, no expense was spared. The hull is, fa is fastened with bronze uh, screws all the way through. Uh, the frames are grown oak, which is really quite unusual. Uh, most boats nowadays are probably built laminated, but these are grown oak frames, um, large planking which he, he brought down from Scotland and planked himself. Uh, so the boat is impeccably built. Um, the, all the bright work is a roco um, on the deck um, and, and the joinery is just magnificent. I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Polly Agatha is such a, a stable platform that uh, although she's exciting to sail, uh, she's very easy to sail and there's plenty of time for people to learn what they're doing um, and so she can be sailed shorthanded, one or two up um, or as I say she can be sailed you know, with a team of 10 or 12 keeping everybody occupied. Um, in the old days they knew how to shorten sail uh, and make life easy for themselves and this boat, once you learn the techniques, is very easy to sail shorthanded.